All right, as a benefit, I have three things to say. One, this is a charger tutorial. If you don't want tutorial, actually, it's not a full. It's like a number two. It's I haven't posted in like two billion years. Uh, I'm I'm sorry for that. Uh, I also wait. Oh, cool. There's commands now. Huh? Wait, there's commands. Commands. Admin commands. Slash E. Mans. Okay, maybe. All right, I'll figure out how to use that. Use the letter. Anyway, so today we're doing charges. Number two, I've been gone for like twelve years, right? Number three, I forgot what I was gonna say. Alrighty, I remember what I was gonna say. Charger got reworked, and he's better and worse a few different ways. So, uh, yeah, I'm making a new updated tutorial on Charger, like how to play him, well, like how to use his new move set, all that stuff, right? So let's dive straight into it. First of all, let's get into all of his moves and how they all work. Your LMB is a small punch. So you charge it up for like a second and you do a small punch. That does five damage, right? But it can charge to two if you wait for two seconds. It does ten damage. And crazy, bro, I'm not, I'm, I don't think you can guess this, but three actually does 15 damage. That's kind of insane. I would never guess that, right? Anyways, so that's your LMB. If you leave it on no charge, it does no damage, and it barely moves it forward at all. When you're in charge, you can't use any of your abilities, so you gotta be careful. Or you can use your E, but that's a, we'll talk about that. Your Q. If you press Q, it will launch you forward and spin you around doing 12 damage and use those fists. If you can launch yourself in the right direction, it's basically an instant hit. It's kind of hard to miss this ability. It's kind of hard to miss this ability. I mean, it's really easy hitbox to hit. It's got a huge range, plus AoE, plus a dash. It's just... On to the next one. If you press E, it does a shock thing. Alrighty, so, when you press E, your next punch will shoot out a little shock wave. And that does, it does five damage. That's all it does. And also, if you, like, hit your opponent, like, dead on... It will still do the damage from the E, even though it doesn't, like, actually have the shockwave. So that will deal 20 damage, right? Now, I forgot something about the Q. If you hold down Q, it does the funny move. It does 150 damage total. Very broken. Right? Now, the F. Here's here's where stuff gets crazy, man. Alrighty. 15% of the current HP and 10% of the uh, max HP. Plus knockback, right? So... With so it's way better to use on enemies with full health rather than enemies with low health, but that doesn't mean you can't use it because it still does fifty. It does something percent of their like max health, right? Plus it falls into one of your combos. We'll get into that a little later, right? So when you use it, it launches them up, and it does damage based on I can't remember fifty percent of their current HP and ten percent of their max HP. So it's better to use it on high high HP targets. Right. Also, it is a dash that goes relatively far. It has a small charge up where you can move. Yeah, you can't move while it's charging up, so you just kind of have to wait and swing yours, right? So, yippee. Um, yeah. What was I going to say? I, my English. Okay, um, very cool. So, let's get into the fun stuff. Your primary is not your primary. It's really weird. I'll talk about it in a second. The primary doesn't have much, but if you're using a primary as an actual primary, charge it up to two. Charging up to three, I just don't think is worth it because two still gives you gives you a bit of distance. Unless you want to run. Even if you are running, charge up to two because three just slows you down so much. Like, so I don't know, but I recommend charging up to two if you're actually using your thing as like primary, right? Um, yep. So that's LMB with your Q. If you do, if you're not doing your F and the whole Q combo, 
I would recommend doing just the dash. 12 extra damage plus knockback. You can hit them into the water, which is really nice. Because it just... Yeah, it's nice. Um, I mean, it does much damage. Water plus knocks back. I mean, it can't be like an advantage for like a bunny or something. So you, if you're fighting a bunny, try not to hit, hit them in the water. Try not to let them go upwards as a general rule when you're fighting a bunny. But, um... So, normally, if you're not using your FQ combo, probably use that. How did I miss? Right? But if they're, like, right there and they're, like, stunned or something from something else, you can use this and you'll probably get a few hits off. Your E, whenever it's off cooldown, use it. Unless you're, like, trying to run. Always keep your E on. Because it has a pretty short cooldown, including the charge-up time. Right? So. Here, so the fun stuff happens. Your... Primary is actually a combo, in my opinion. That's how I think Charger should be played. Your F into your Q, right? So you F. Didn't see that. That was a that was a that was a glitch. That was a that was a glitch. So your I think your primary is actually not your real primary, but like the thing you should be doing is try to hit your F into Q, and you just kind of move forward a bit, and you just hold down Q, and if they turn around, you can, like, spin around, right? So, yeah, I, it's kind of hard to test on these guys, so they fall back. Alrighty. But, um, so, generally, when you're fighting someone, you F into Q, and they're gonna try to back off, because this does absolutely absurd damage, right? Your Q is one of the highest Probably the highest dealing, highest de like DPS thing in the game, besides like maybe illusionist. So they're gonna try to back off, right? And when they when they back off, that's when you can start charging your thing up again. So then you get three charge, pressure shock, get in there, get an easy F, hold down your Q, dominate, and then they're gonna walk away. So then you start charging, press your E, right? Gunner is a constant combo. It is always combo in, combo out. There's never a moment when you shouldn't be doing something, right? So that's how you play Charger. And that is my beginner-ish tutorial for the character. Is there a way to pause this? There is not. Okay. So, that is how you play Charger, like, basically. Like, in a basic sense, not basically same thing. I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Um, yeah, get the Corrupted skin, it looks very cool. Doesn't actually do anything, though. Um, so yeah, comment what thing you want me to do next. If there's any rework kits that you want me to do, or like Swordmancer, be, I'd be very happy to do that. I'm playing a lot of Swordmancer. So yeah, uh, whatever you want me to do, I can do that. And, um, yeah, that's it. But recap, just real quick, in a nutshell, like fast, like two minute thing. Right? When your E is off cooldown, always use it unless you're running. And you're always in a combo. F, hold down Q, then they walk away. You press your E, right? You charge up your thing while they're walking away, trying to like run. Then you do the at, get a free F, and other stuff, right? One more thing I forgot to mention with your F is that it can, um, <clears throat> I mean, obviously it goes upwards, right? But you can use this to, like, push them in the water. Like, pretend this is the water. I can push them into the water. And I can, in a sense, like, it's, if you push them into the water, like in Final Strike, if you time it just perfectly, you can push them into the water. Instead of holding Q, you press Q to launch them further into the water. And that's if you time, like, near perfectly. But that's something that you can try, right? Thank you guys for watching. I, yeah. So that's how you play Charger. If what combo kit want to do next, I will do literally any kit that's like not illusionist or something. So um uh, yeah. So thank you for watching. Have a great day, and um play Charger. All right. Goodbye.